Well, over the last century, few names have been more significant in the Piedmont than Cone. Moses and Caesar Cone built a textile emperor, empire rather, 125 years ago, then left a legacy of schools and, most importantly, the hospital. Yeah, and there is a play that was supposed to be staged two years ago, but of course, COVID put that on hold. But the musical, Denim King, is finally about to hit the stage, and Fox 8's Bob Buckley met with some of the cast to see how it's coming to life. House down. You may not know the faces on stage. They're mostly professional actors. When it came to the Cone Brothers, who could But you certainly know the names of the people they're portraying. Moses, Caesar, I have. And Owen Davidson, who's portraying Moses Cone. We will be smart in business. Where it counts. That comes with some responsibility. Because they were here, they lived, you can see the effects of the area especially doing this piece in Greensboro, where mm -hmm. it affected their lives and this area, it really, you connect to the material differently than you would if you're playing Shrek, some, you know, fictional <laughs> person. That sense is a bit more literal for Barrett Johnson, who's playing Bertha Cohn. I always get this feeling that they're in the room with us. <laughs> and for a moment, they kind of were. Cone descendant Sue Cloud visited the cast to help them understand who the cones of the last century were. It's kind of family lore is what we mm. heard from her. It helped me understand how extravagant these people were with the stories she had. She told a story about Matisse and Pablo Picasso and uh, it was wonderful getting to talk with her. They learn from conversations with the family and the script how much the cones still mean to this age. They've got a little bit of everything. So does that lend a little extra pressure? to perform them in a certain way because they're so significant to this community? I feel it. I, I, don't, I don't necessarily feel pressure. I think it's more exciting to reintroduce the original family to people that maybe don't know them, don't know the history okay. enough. And that history is that the Cones were more than just a family that succeeded in business. My great grandparents used to work in like the mills and stuff, not in Greensboro, but um, in the area. So just kind of knowing how powerful these people were, but how they balanced that with, you know, being nice people and taking care of the people of the community. Everyone was made by hand, correct Family me. matters over um, everything in life. Um, you can have riches, you can have, you know, fame, you can have this, like, you know, X, Y, and Z, but when it comes down to it, family is the most important thing and we should be there for one another. These actors are there for one another for four days and nights performing Denim King, the Moses Cone story. Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News. Denim King, the Moses Cone story runs this Thursday through Sunday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Night shows are at 730. Saturday and Sunday matinees are at 2. It's at the Wellspring Theater in Greensboro. We put a link to the show on our website, myfox8.com.